Hey, what's up all my Leo people? You have reached my channel, Royal Revelations, and I am BJ Royal. All right, you guys, so I'm coming to you guys today with a general reading. It's been a minute. I miss you guys. There's been a lot going on. I done got engaged. My birthday, my fiance's birthday, my daughter's birthday, Capricorn season was lit. 2023 went out with a bang. Okay, and then 2024 came in here tripping. Okay, so I don't know what is going on. <laughs> so, uh, but either way, please like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so. We're about to get this thing started. This is for anybody with Leo placements in their chart. I'll tell everybody tarot card readers are like advice. You either take it or you leave it. Either way, that's fine with me. May not be a message for you, but it's definitely a message for somebody. Okay, so any cards that I use or any information about personal readings is going to be listed in the description box below. So let's go. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna pull a couple of placements first. Five cards. Oh, okay, six. I literally just did Virgo. Okay, right before you guys. So six house routines, Virgo energy. Ooh, that was that dryer. I got all five cards. So Virgo, something about Virgo, okay? So if you guys have Virgo in your chart, definitely go look at that uh, reading. Ninth house faith okay so that's sagittarius energy jupiter return benefits yod destiny and mars force Ooh, a lot of fire energy gotta be careful with that gotta be and then at the bottom you have grand cross provoker a lot of passion a lot of um I feel like somebody testing your faith or testing your patience, trying to provoke you, trying to get you out of your element. I don't know where your Mars sign is. I don't know if you have a Leo in Mars or something like that, but um, if your Mars is in Leo, um, be careful. I see like a big kind of blow up or something like that, okay? Um, but your Leo placement you can have Leo, Virgo, or Sagittarius in your Mars, of course, your Sun, or your Moon, or your Jupiter, or any of these could be in your uh, sixth or ninth house. Okay, but <clears throat> I feel like I feel like you're trying to get back into the groove of things. Um, there could have been something that that was happening, or or maybe you were on a, a set schedule and you're trying to get back to that or something. But I feel like you're trying to get back into the groove of, groove of things. The ninth house faith. I feel like your 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 faith is definitely uh, being tested. You're definitely being pro. Somebody is trying to provoke your energy. So these are my cards. I'm about to clarify with. So um, this is the deck. It's called Ransom Letters. Um, this will be on sale soon, but I just wanted to get uh, my first deck just to see the card quality, you know, whatever, da 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 da. Uh, so, this just kind of tells me who, what, when. Um, so, this has letters, numbers, um, decades, time frames, different stuff. So, you guys will see as I pull them. So, Leo is up first. Okay, you. You was like, yeah, I'm coming through in this bitch in my own reading. Okay. <laughs> but I do love you guys' card. Your card was actually the first Zodiac that I designed. So, I really do love the Leo energy. Okay. And then Friday came out for Ninth House. So, this was actually, these two cards actually came out in uh, Virgo's reading. Okay. So, you might want to check, check that out. Okay. Then we have the 90s energy. Okay. East Coast West versus West Coast B. That's what I'm saying. Somebody could be tripping, okay? What is your destiny? As I didn't know that um, until I made this deck, I always knew Tupac was a, a Gemini, but I had no idea that Notorious B.I.G. was a Gemini. No idea. Oh. Okay, then we have the number one for Yo Destiny. That's not like magician energy, right? And then the letter D. Mars force. So D D D. I'm also hearing a uh, a designated driver or a drunk driver. Okay, and at the bottom you have the time card. So actually when I actually publish this deck, I'm going to put the copyright information here at the bottom, but I wanted to design a card actually that um 
and not just do like a regular copyright card, right? But it says time. Time heals. Time is inevitable. Time expires. Time is valuable. Time continues. Time is everything. So I'm hearing, okay, most importantly, what sticks out for me is timing is everything. So um, as you're going through whatever this situation is, this energy, time is going to test be the test of everything like how long because i feel like somebody could be poking at you poking at you one thing after another one thing after another like one right i'm hearing that song one 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 that diddy i don't even know what his sign is is he an aries mars is ruled by oh diddy did he do it or didn't he did he do it i don't know that ain't my business okay I ain't trying, I don't know what, what's trying to like infiltrate this reading, y'all. I don't know, but let's let's get through it. I'm gonna start down here with six house routine. Leo, give me one tarot. Ooh, the eight of swords. The Pegasus. Beautiful. It looks like a unicorn to me. Definitely Capricorn energy. A lot of earth energy. This could be somebody you used to work with. Um, this could also be um you feeling as if you're different from everybody. Like, man, I, you are a unicorn, Leo. It's, I mean, you're beautiful. I'm always trying to hop in y'all DM spiritually. <laughs> I love Leos, like, no cap. Um, and I don't think I have a lick of Leo in my chart. Um, but either way, um, but I feel like maybe you guys just feel like it's just been so much going on. Um, and maybe you're outside of your normal routine. Maybe you're trying to do something different than what you're normally normally do. And I feel like you're being scrutinized for it. I don't necessarily think it's you. It could be other people, other people around you, right? Because look at how beautiful this unicorn is. The Eight of Swords is normally you being bound and tied. Um, that's why I say it. it's not you, it's them. Because I feel like you're just trying to live free. You're just trying to... Now, there's some parameters around it, right? Like, uh, you can't live for free, but you can live freely. You know what I'm saying? So, um, those are the parameters. But I feel like you're just trying to be free and be yourself. And I feel like you're under some type of criticism or some scrutiny behind it. Give me one more for Eight of Swords. The Hermit in reverse. Yeah, we have, who is this? Bigfoot, Yeti. Get on your good foot. Get on your good foot. <laughs> I'm telling beef. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Cause, cause, cause of why? Uh, look, that ain't my business. I ain't no barb. I ain't no uh, hottie. You know what I'm saying? But I'm definitely uh, here for the drama, right? Um, but instead of East Coast, West Coast, we kind of got north and south right because nikki from the north and um your girl meg is from the south so definitely so north node south node whatever so that could be your placement as well or whatever your north node or south node signs are definitely go check those readings out because it's like where you where you feel like you're supposed to be and what you currently doing you don't feel like those match okay because Bigfoot and the unicorn, it, it, they just don't. They, they don't look alike. This is not the same energy at all. Two different people, right? And interesting enough that the Eight of Swords, this is Gemini energy. Look at that, Gemini. Because the Gemini can switch it up on you, okay? Because that Gemini energy is here. Gemini can switch it up real quick on you. And I feel like, Leo, sometimes you can be like that. You get what I'm saying? But more of a versatility. Your drama, your dramatic side actually comes out because um, you can switch. You can play those roles that everybody can't play. So you are actually the perfect match when it comes to a Gemini because you're just as... <laughs> grand as they they are right okay you have the eight of wands so i got two eights here 88 so i actually had this conversation with my cousin who's a leo um 
And one thing, one conversation that I told him, I was, I was like, man, you know what? People, I used to think that people would be jealous of you um, because of what you have. And, you know, I, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I haven't always been no well-off person. Like, I, I've struggled, you know what I'm saying? We, I'm from the hood, like, you know, where I grew up at and stuff like that. So, um, I used to think that jealousy was kind of a thing that people did when you had material things. But as I got older, I realized that people aren't jealous. They can be, don't get me wrong. But a lot of times people aren't jealous of that. They're jealous of you. They're jealous because of your spirit. They, they're jealous because of how you look, how you how you talk, your, your, how people are drawn to you. Um, they don't have that. It's not natural for them. And that comes natural to you, Leo. And you're a company, you're ruled by the sun. A lot of people can't take the heat. You get what I'm saying? So I will never take it. I'm not saying that you do, but don't ever take it personal uh, when people, you know, uh, they're snapping at you or they're ganging up on you. Like, you know, I get multiple people trying to test you right now. Um, but I don't know why they trying to test you. They just, because if they get too close to you, you're going to burn them. You get what I'm saying? So I, I want to say that, say, keep your energy um, intact. Don't let people get you out of your comfort zone. Get on your good foot. <laughs> Will of fortune. Will of fortune. Man, I definitely don't want to be on the bad side of a Leo. Right? Because anybody that laughs and jokes, you get what I'm saying? They're full of life. Uh, when they get mad, they can get mad because that's not normally their life. They like to be happy and they like to be, you know, dramatic. And, you know, I'm here in the life of the party. You know, they like to be like that. But when you get them mad and you do all this extra shit, like you're getting somebody out of their comfort zone. Now they got to act crazy. Acting crazy. Tearing shit up. Burning shit up. You done went from a Leo to an arsenic. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> All right, let's get this Jupiter uh, return benefits and the 90s energy. The Knight of Swords in reverse. So this is Taurus and Gemini energy at the bottom. You see it? And that's giving me Taurus Gemini cusp, which I think Biggie was. He was kind of born closer to the cusp, but he was still a sun Gemini. But I'm definitely getting some very sharp, low-cutting words. Look, look what's at the bottom. The Minotaur. The Ten of Pentacles. Again, people don't like it. You guys could be born on one of the cusps, whether it's the... Leo Virgo cuss or the Cancer Leo cuss. But I'm more so getting like y'all Leo energy. I don't know where your Scorpio placement. I'm not Scorpio, where your um Mars. Well Mars is ruled by uh Mars rule Scorpio and they rule Aries. You get what I'm saying by what is what what is your Mars sign? Look that up and see how that is affecting you right now you get what i'm saying then you have the devil there go that capricorn energy i picked it up earlier and this is the crazy thing okay <laughs> let me say this because of course i'm getting capricorn out of both of these i know this is the eight of swords but i was like when i taught when i was taught to read tarot i, I was i was taught to read the cards okay but two Capricorn energies, right? But neither one of them looks like the other. Okay? This is this is beautiful glories. This is like ah like just the flip the switch of where you guys can get to. It's kind of scary. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if you even know this. Maybe you do. You know yourself better than others, but I'm just afraid that this might not go how somebody may think it'll go. Okay, and um, this card is covering up. I got Death Row at the bottom of the 90s card. And it, all I can see is D-E-A. So this could be a situation to where even this could be some legal issues. 
maybe somebody's trying to cut you off where you don't know something that's going on legally, but somebody else says something. It's definitely some backstabbing kind of energy here. What's your destiny in the number one? Six of Swords. You know, I'm, <laughs> okay, I'm hearing, it ain't over till the fat lady sings. <laughs> it ain't over. It ain't over yet. Death card in reverse. It ain't over yet to the fat lady scene, okay? And this actually popped off too. The page of swords in reverse, the headless horseman. Yeah, nah. It's not over until I get to say my piece, okay? Because um, I feel like if you are able, because this is it's some drama going on, you guys. So let me just warn you guys. Um, time is going to be timing okay so as time go on you're gonna see like somebody is really like testing your patience you like the deeper you get into it the worse it get like this is really kind of strange i'm not even gonna lie because i feel like you um i'm hearing like literally not cutting somebody's head off but like with the headless horseman here i feel like you just not you cutthroat there we go i knew it was a word trying to come to me but i just couldn't get it but you you cutthroat man especially when you get this mad this is not you on a regular you don't walk around like this you walk around like this do 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 hey y'all i'm here i've arrived this is how you walk around but they got you on some shit like this Not okay. Don't let them get you there, Leo. You're too cute. Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, don't like look. It could really mess you up what you got going on. Okay? This could be some deep stuff from the past. Ace uh six of cups in reverse. This could be something building up. Definitely something building up to Ten of Wands in reverse. Man, y'all look. Now, all the cards, got all the wands in reverse, half of them, and then there's some crazy shit. There's some, a lot of fire energy. Um, some nigga named D or DD, excuse my French, but it's it's just it's just a lot. D D D Diddy, didn't he? I'm here. I'm also hearing Lee, D Lee. Uh, um, Danny Lee. Okay, that's maybe that's what Spirit is trying to tell me because she didn't she I don't know if she's still going through that and I think Danny Lee she's the cusper. Wow, so this is what I learned about them. This is some kind of beef. Um, so this could also be something that's going on in the industry here with the devil card. But in some way, shape, or form, or fashion, it definitely affects you. But this could be, you know, somebody going through on that end. Like, that's what I'm saying. These problems aren't surface level. These problems just aren't with people um, here on this, the, like, ramp, like level of uh, class, right? Uh, middle class and, and uh, people, lower class and middle class people deal with these issues. No, it's people of all caliber that deals with this kind of backstabbing and 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 energy where you got people fucking with you different entities or people because they just lame and they wish they could unicorn the way you unicorn you get what i'm saying and they could never they could never but danny lee she got in trouble too so she's a cusper and the baby is a cusper but she was born on the sagittarius side of the cusp Whereas the baby was born on the Capricorn side of the cusp, the cusp of prophecy. So let me say this. Um, she got in trouble after all that stuff. People was really putting the baby down. It was really going in on him. Of course, he had said some crazy shit about the LBGTQIA plus community. Um, but he had also said some other shit. Like he was just going in for no reason. Um, but when Dan and Lee... And you remember he put her on blast and shit, but then Danny Lee got into that damn trouble. I think in Miami, that's the 305, um, eight, the number eight. Um, that also kind of hindered her life completely. Like it really messed her up. Like she didn't hit somebody and, you know, kept driving, you know, so um, while drunk. 
You know what I'm saying? So um, that's what I'm saying. I'm hearing that DD designated driver, drunk driver. So just be careful. Don't let, um, if you guys are partying, especially within these next few weeks, if you guys are going out um, partying or something, don't drive. You get what I'm saying? Even if you had a few, if it's way too many, like stay where you're at. Um, because I feel like there could be somebody who around you would just feed you, feed you, feed you, feed you alcohol or some kind of substance and then just let you go on about your way, not being a true friend. Um, so just be mindful of that. Let me get you guys an oracle. Overall, I, I would say the biggest thing is keep your cool. I feel like somebody is trying to beef with you. They're trying to. I feel like it's also somebody else who kind of comes to your aid, though. Because I feel like they were like, Leo, don't even be on that type of time. Like, why is you doing this? This could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or some of the other signs I mentioned. Uh, Virgo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aries, Scorpio. Sacrifice. Ooh, and at the bottom you have Oracle, the number 28. This one says, spirits of other worlds, tell me tales of the unknown. Tell me tales of the forbidden. Okay, they say BJ is right on point today. Okay. <laughs> okay, then you have sacrifice for number 36. This is what actually fell out. It says, you must find the ebb and flow of life within your very self. Embracing it all is embracing the truth. Okay, this is the only one I'm going to read. 36. Okay, sacrifice invites you to let go of something that is preventing your growth. You do not wish to move on, but deep down, you know, this is a necessary step on your path towards greater fulfillment. This can mean moving to a new home, embracing a new career or way of thinking, or even a rite of passage such as graduation. You know that you are on your way to more, but the moment is still bittersweet. Pulling sacrifice shows that you have some doubts about your next steps. You wonder if you have made the right choices or if you will later regret your actions. Yes, there will be challenges ahead and perhaps more sacrifices to come. But you must be willing to sacrifice something small to reap the rewards of something bigger. It is time to commit to your choices and move on in the knowledge that there is much more for you to explore. Okay? Um, sacrificing can always can also be kind of sacrificing how you um, handle things, handle yourself. Um, because I feel like sometimes we can let our pride and our ego get in the way, right? We can be like, man, I ain't gonna let a motherfucker do me like that. Then I gotta retaliate, right? Um, re retaliation sometimes sometimes walking away is a sacrifice. Because what? You're going to fight them, knowing you can whip their ass, catch a charge. Oh, look, DEA again. I can't make this up. Somebody might be getting arrested. DEA. I keep seeing it. The DEA. What if the DEA specializes? It's one of them look, government three and they the feds, okay? Basically, you get what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. Something, and then you could be manifesting something to where all of this shit is going to start to work out in your favor. You could be manifesting like, man, you know what? I'm going to fuck around and uh, manifest me enough money to move on. I'm going to manifest me enough money to, you know, buy a yacht and, and go travel the seas. I don't know what you're manifesting, right? But as you're manifesting all of this with this number one and this yo destiny, um, sometimes you don't know whatever you're already manifesting is already in the works, right? Because you have a feeling like, man, like this is what I need to do. Some of you guys could be doing spiritual work. You could be an oracle, right? But there's something in you um, to where you're like, man, I need, I have to do this, right? Um, and you will get to do it. It's just going to happen in such a way that is absolutely mind-blowing and boggling, and not saying you can't get there if you do end up overreacting in this situation. I'm not saying sometimes people be doing the most and they deserve it, right? 
but sometimes it's so much better to let God, God, instead of us trying to interfere, okay, and handle things ourselves, because it'll, it'll save us a lot, right, <clears throat> I used to, um, I used to be a fighter, right, uh, as you guys know, if you, you've been watching my channel for a minute, I was like, um, taking boxing classes and stuff, but younger, I was like, literally, I would fight all of the time, but then as I got older, I would still resolve some of my issues like that. Now, I wasn't I wasn't a start, fire starter, the fight starter. I didn't start the fights, but I would definitely finish them because you're not just going to push me and bully me. But what I did have to learn was um, as I got older, it's more as time goes by, right? You can't do the same things that you used to do because I used to get in more trouble, right? So I was like 18, about to go to college, um, working at Burger King. And... Uh, I got into a fight with my manager. She hit me, y'all. And um, I was in there talking cash shit. Like, I'm about to go to college. I don't need this. Like, I don't need this job. I don't need y'all. And like I said, people don't be jealous of what you have. Because literally, I'm riding around my 91 Honda Accord, okay? Uh, champagne color. You know, the seat, the seat belt still go all the way back like that. It's connected to the car. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of shit I'm riding in, bitch. You, you mad at me for what? I'm 18 years old. You the manager of the store. You trying to fight me. That's why I was in there talking cash shit. But that's why they was mad at me, right? Because I had, I, I wasn't always on that shit. Like, I don't need this job. No, 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 But after y'all keep going in, provoking, 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 provoking me, then I'm going to end up saying something. You get what I'm saying? And I end up <clears throat> catching a charge behind it to save her job. Now, she hit me first. It's on camera. But they deleted the camera. Being young, I didn't understand, like, staying behind, waiting on the police. Like, I had left, you know, this, that, and the third. But, you know, she, to save her job, she put charges on me, right? She lied. They, they stole the tape, all of this stuff. But all of that to say, um, I didn't even know she had put charges on me. But I'm 18, thinking I can, you know, start living life, right? So, um, I think I wanted to move out of the dorms. So, I was trying to get, like, a house. Or, no, I was trying to get a job. I was trying to get a job. I couldn't pass a background check. I'm like, why well, I can't pass my background check? Because I got this simple assault pending because this lady that hit me and took the simple assault charge out on me. Make it make sense, right? So I'm 18 learning these lessons, right? So sometimes, but what I should have did is said, got up and quit and said, fuck them. Because I really was about to, you know what I'm saying? But... I felt like I sat there knowing the situation was it was escalating. You know what I'm saying? But of course, I'm 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 a teenager, adult by age. You know what I'm saying? But this lady like in her forties. You get what I'm saying? So it's like um, I let her get me out of character. I let her provoke me, and I end up having to pay for that. But I ain't stupid. I went down there, press charges on her because she was the one that hit me first. Like, look, I don't call the police, but you ain't about to call the police on me and think that you ain't about to get these same consequences, okay? But we ended up going to mediation and they dismissed everything. You get what I'm saying? So I kind of got that clean slate again. But what I should have did was got my ass out, got my ass up, and walked out when I knew the situation was escalating in the first place, right? All right? So that's what I'm saying. I, and, and it caused me a lot of trouble. It did get resolved eventually, but I don't want to see y'all go through some shit like that. All right, so I know that was a long story. I'm sorry, guys, but we done. All right, so please like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you have, you already know. I appreciate it. Until next time, y'all already know what it is. Holla at a plan. We see me strength, Leo. Bye.